Hello, my name is Helga Dies Isvold Sigurðardóttir and in this video I will tell you about the third paper in my PhD dissertation Domesticating Digital Game Based Learning. In this study, the spotlight is on pupils in Norwegian primary and upper secondary schools. How do they experience the domestication of digital game-based learning? The short answer would be that they liked it. The domestication of digital game-based learning in Norwegian schools was an overall positive sense-making experience for the pupils. To look further into the findings, we can start by taking a look at the term domestication. Traditionally, it refers to taking something wild, like a wild animal, a horse for example, and taming it. When used in science and technology studies, for example, the term refers to the process when a new and unfamiliar technology is taken into use and becomes a natural part of the user's life. To find out how Norwegian pupils experienced the domestication of digital game-based learning, I interviewed 64 pupils in focus group interviews. They were aged 8, 11, 16 and 18, and represented four Norwegian primary and upper secondary schools in three different towns in Norway. The pupils played on portable and stationary computers as well as iPads, in groups, in pairs and individually. A total of about 30 different games were identified, with little overlap between schools. I roughly sorted the games into three categories. The first one I called drill slash quiz games, that is, games that test or drill something that the users already know. The second one I refer to as exploration games, meaning learning games that require no previous knowledge of the topic and are designed to teach something new. The third category has less distinct qualities, and while some games in this category could be labeled explorative, I refer to the third group as commercial games, that is, games that were not produced with learning as a specific goal. The main shared feature of the commercial games in this study was that they were all single-player games, although often played in groups in class. Digital game-based learning practices seem to vary between schools. While drilling seemed to be the main goal in some cases, another prominent goal was to use games as a starting point for various reflections, and this emphasis seemed to grow the older the pupils were. The drill slash quiz games dominated the scene in the primary schools. In the upper secondary schools, the situation was more complex. The 16-year-olds seemed to enjoy a mixture of all three categories, drill slash quiz, exploratory and commercial games, whereas the 18-year-olds only played commercial games in school. The pupils reflected upon several aspects of digital game-based learning, such as games as a welcome break from other teaching methods and competition as a motivating factor. In fact, several pupils from every school mentioned competition as a leading motivating factor, so motivating in fact that when an otherwise simple drill or quiz-like school game evolved around competition between classmates or even between different schools, it made the pupils so deeply engaged that they would choose to play this school game in their own free time rather than some more widely popular commercial entertainment or leisure games. A handful of other advantages were also brought to light, such as improved concentration and visualization, meaningful learning experiences, fun, and so on. A few pupils expressed critical views, addressing some of the shortcomings of games as teaching tools, as well as acknowledging some of the common prejudice towards digital games. Some also called for more efficient planning of digital game-based learning to ensure that their time as pupils was adequately spent. The majority of pupils were positive and supported affirmative claims about the beneficial effect of digital game-based learning. The domestication process seemed to motivate the pupils to engage in digital game-based learning while also indicating a fairly educated understanding of the use of digital games in school. Domestication theory turned out to work well to analyze this collective setting as both teachers and pupils engaged in domestication. Both groups needed to engage and interact. While the teachers obviously managed the process, the pupils interacted, influenced and affected one another, not the least because they played together. To conclude, this study provides new insight into how digital game-based learning is being domesticated in schools today, including the pupils' experience of these practices. The Norwegian pupils in this study generally know what digital game-based learning is all about, 
are able to reflect upon it and they appreciate it very much.